Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and I have some great news to so many Unity developers that have been waiting for one feature forever and ever and ever and it is finally here with absolutely zero fanfare. Nothing on the Unity blog, no announcements, nothing. It just sort of dropped. And that is a new version of Unity Ship 2019.4.8. That doesn't sound so special, does it? Well, look at you in front of me. This is my copy of Unity and I'm running Unity Personal and you may notice something. It's awfully dark. Yes, dark mode is finally a free feature for everybody. Yep, no longer have to pay for plus or higher to get dark mode. And I know there's quite a few people actually that that's the only reason why they were paying for Unity is so that they could get dark mode. And to be honest, I've never been a huge dark mode fan personally, but I know there are a ton of people that have been waiting for this. Also, there is a really cool themed uh, asset sale going on right now. We're gonna look at that in the latter half of this video. But first, let's take a look at what dark mode is all about. If you go check out the release notes for 2019.4.8, there's not a ton here to be honest. I'm not actually doing a video specifically about 2019.4.8 F1 because quite frankly, it's a fairly minor release. Except this single line right here. Editor. Dark theme editor preference is now available to all users. Yes, you can run dark theme on the personal version. And by the way, this isn't just for Unity 2019.4.8. This just happens to be the long-term support version. But I believe this is the first version with this update. However, if we switch over and look at the release notes for 2020.1.2, which is their developmental version, and we scroll to the bottom, we will find editor. Dark theme editor preference is now available to all users. So it is on 2019.4 and further. So all new versions of Unity are going to have dark mode enabled. Now you may be wondering, okay, I don't necessarily like dark mode. How do I get rid of this? And it's actually not as intuitive as you might think. It's easy. It's just not that intuitive. You go into edit and then you go to preferences. Then you then go to general and it is under editor theme. It is not called dark. It is called professional. You want to go back to the old version, switch that to personal, uh, and boom, there you're at the old theme. Now I do have to admit, now that I'm at the old theme, I'm not really a dark mode person, but their old theme is really ugly. So the, the dark mode definitely does improve the look of Unity. As you can see, you do not need to do a restart or anything to enable dark theme. You literally just come and change it right there. So if you're running one of those patches that kind of um, gives you this ability, you can take that out. This is now something that you get out of the box, all versions, all plans. Now I'm gonna be interested to see what this will do to their plus tier. How many people are gonna be paying that $240 a year when one of the marquee features was just taken away, especially when they also made Unity Learn Premium free for everybody as well. So what's the incentive to be in that tier now? Interesting to see, and I'd love to hear your opinion down below. While well, we're on the topic, so again, there is more to these particular releases, but the big thing, the big news obviously, is that the dark theme is now available. Now, as I was mentioning earlier, there was also a really, really cool theme. I, I love the graphic, I love the name. Uh, it's Discounts and Dragons. It's a fantasy themed uh, sale going on right now on the asset store. 206 items, I believe they are all at 50% off. Uh, things and they're all around the idea of fantasy or RPG theme. So if you want, uh, there's quest machine here. There's magic sound spells. All the polygon asset packs that make sense. Monster packs, uh, music packs, uh, dungeon packs. You kind of get the idea of what they're going for here. Various different animations, spell effects, and so on. Uh, so that sale is running right now. Um, I'm not actually sure when that expires. It's a couple of weeks, I think. Uh, so if you are working on a fantasy-based game. Uh, you're going to find pretty much a huge collection of assets that are currently on sale that kind of revolve around that theme, including some system level stuff, UI based stuff, um, and so on. And then of course, a plethora of art packs and so on. And as you can see, everything is currently 50% off in this pack. Uh, so I don't know if there's something here that really stands out to you or there's something that you've been really waiting for, but if this is the genre in which you are making your game, uh, uh, it is definitely a great opportunity to pick up some assets. So that is currently 50% off. I'll drop a link down below. Um, so yeah, yeah, so that's what we've got going on. So again, I do have to credit them. There is a really, really cool branding on this one. I, I love their 
I love their graphics. Uh, it kind of throws back to the old school D and D adventure covers. Uh, so, and obviously they're they're going for the Dungeons and Dragons thematic naming here. Uh, so I, I love the the look of this series for sure. But I think again the news that people are going to be totally and utterly stoked about is this 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 little footnote at the bottom of the current release that the dark theme editor preference is now available for everyone. And as you can see, there is dark mode. And I I will again admit I'm not always a dark mode fan but when it comes to the land of unity it, it looks it, it looks so much better with dark mode so I kind of get where some of you are coming from uh, this this is it, it, it's hard to look at once you've switched over so I'm definitely going to be uh, switching my theme over to the professional as well now I am a little curious that they did this when they did with as little fanfare as they did though because quite frankly so many people have been asking for dark mode free for so long that I thought they would do this at like GDC or um you know it, when they needed to do a big news drop and they needed to get some momentum behind them because this one's just sort of hey we have this now uh, and yeah when, hey I'm not complaining I love to see it for sure I just thought they would have used this announcement maybe at a point of more desperation or something instead of, you know, literally just using it. Because if you head on over to the, the blog, uh, there's quite literally nothing here as of yet. There, there's no announcements of it. Uh, it might be buried in here somewhere. But you would have thought that there'd be a frontline headline screaming from the, you know, the... the the rafters that, hey, we've got dark mode free now, because again, I know in so many videos, the comment is free dark mode, free dark mode, free dark mode, free dark mode. And you would have thought again, that in doing so, they, they would have shouted this, but I guess instead, that's my job. So hey, there's a free dark mode now, go and grab it. Uh, so again, you need 2019 point, oh, what are we at now? 2019 point uh, 4.8 or later to get it. Of course, you can get that from the Unity Hub. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I already can anticipate a handful of the comments because we're going to have the competing contrast here. We had uh, Unreal Engine recently announced free to use under $1 million. So you're going to say free under a million versus dark mode. And I, uh, yeah, uh, Unreal has definitely been killing it of late. But again, from a Unity perspective, there are so many Unity developers that have really been waiting for this. So I hope you enjoyed your day. And that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.